Well, good morning, good morning, beloved people of God. I thank God for this opportunity once again, and I do not esteem it lightly. I wonder if I can share with you something from 2 Kings 3 and 16. The story goes, when King Ahab died, Jehoram, his son, became the king of Israel. And when that happened, one of his vassals, Mesha, king of Moab, revolted. So Jehoram encouraged the king of Judah and Edom to join him to attack the king who revolted. They decided to take a shortcut across the desert because they figured that they would get the drops on him. But they hadn't counted up the cost and they soon ran out of water and they were about to die until one of the kings, King Jehoshaphat of Judah, said, there is a prophet named Elisha. We need to go see him. Well, the prophet told them to dig ditches all over the desert. I hear God saying to some of you, you've been in a dry place, a place where good things don't usually happen. And now listen, every soldier was commanded by God to carry a digging stick to cover up his excrement when he relieved himself. And the prophet told them to dig deeper. I don't know who I'm talking to, but I'm telling you, don't give up. Hold on, the flood of blessings is coming. Don't die in the desert. Dig deeper. Hallelujah. Without further ado, let us pray. Baruch atah Adonai, Jehovah Selai. Blessed are you, our Lord God, the rock of salvation as recorded in Psalms 95 and 1. It's in the wonderful name of Yeshua HaMashiach, Jesus the Christ, the anointed one that we pray. We are much obliged for the blood of Jesus that was voluntarily shed at Calvary for the remission of our sins. He was wounded for our transgressions and bruised for our iniquity some 2,000 years ago. But the blood yet has power. And because of that same blood, we are declared the righteousness of Christ. Father, we ask that you would forgive our overt and covert sins. We have sinned and come short of your glory whether it was in word, thought, or deed. We are most grievous and do most heartily repent. And today, because of that blood, we have forgiveness and we have standing. Father, here we are once more and again, gathered at your footstool of mercy. We have entered your gates with thanksgiving and come into your courts with praise. We are ever thankful and we bless your name. We are grateful for the gift of life and the opportunity to experience it. We join in with all creation in lauding and applauding you. There is none like you. The angels cry, holy, holy, holy. Yes, you are the thrice holy God and we give you the glory, the honor and the praise that is due your name. We thank you for touching us with your divine finger of love. We could have slipped away in the night but you allowed us to see the dawning of a brand new day filled with unlimited potential and possibility. And for that, we are grateful. Father, let our words and thoughts and actions line up with your purpose. We thank you that we awoke with the articulation of speech and the activity of our limb. We were enclosed in a right mind that has stayed on thee. There are so many pressures of life happening rapid fire. It's one thing right after another with no breaks in between. Had it not been for you, we would have lost our minds by now. It's all because of your goodness and your mercy. You could have turned us over to a reprobate mind, but you didn't. And for that, we are glad. Father, we stand in agreement with every prayer request, both spoken and unspoken, that lines up with your will, your word, and your way. Father, nothing is too hard for you. We have high expectations, but let your will be done. Give us the discernment to discover it, the courage to follow it, and the wisdom to apply it. Daddy, meet the needs of your people and give us the desires of our hearts as we seek your face. The psalmist declares that in your presence is fullness of joy and at your right hand are pleasures evermore. We freely and exuberantly give you praise. We invite you to live in our praise for where your spirit is, there is liberty. Father, we ask that you would reposition your people everywhere they are, that they will no longer have to beg, borrow, struggle, or steal. 
Father, open up your storehouse and release miracles, ridiculous, incredible, miraculous, and embarrassing blessings that will put the world in awe of your power and make them to know how much you love us. And before you're done with what you're doing, help us to release past hurts and pains, past depressions, past disappointments, failed relationships, other shortcomings, and all the things that we've gone through. Please don't allow the enemy to discourage us. We become too comfortable with mediocrity. We become too satisfied with being less than every withhold. We become complacent and content with scarcity, lack, and want. And this is not your desire for us. We must release our problems, our low self-esteem, and our broken hearts to you. We let it go. We let it go. We let it go. We cast our cares upon the name of Jesus. We rebuke the things that the enemy would use to keep us in bondage. The yoke is broken in Jesus' name. By faith in the matchless name of Jesus, we decree and declare that the struggle is over. God, your people have lived beneath their inheritance long enough. The mountains have been high. The valleys have been low. The roads have been rough. The going has been tough. Enough is enough. No more stress. No more strain. No more struggle. I decree in the name of Jesus that the storm is passing over. We have high expectations of you, Father but we need to give you something to work with. We release our faith and speak to the seed of our harvest. We expect to reap our harvest largely in the very near future. We align ourselves with Mark 10 and 30, where Jesus said that any losses we incur in the persecution for Jesus' sake will be returned to us 100-fold in this life. I didn't make it up, it's in there. We ask that you would protect us from any challenges, temptations, and negativities that the enemy has planned for us. Please give us the strength to endure and fight on for our faith as a good soldier would. We pray for the people in our circle of concern. Please bless our family, friends, and loved ones. Show us everyone who does not belong. Show us the ones who throw rocks and hide their hands. Show us the ones who seek to deceive us with sweet words. Show us the ones who lie on us, scandalize our name, and dig ditches. Show us the ones who spend more time hurting others than helping them. Show us the ones, and if need be, help us to cut the ties to these toxic relationships. We do pray for their conversion, prosperity, and success. But Father, if you don't mind, let it happen somewhere else. My daddy, we pray for those who are discouraged, those who are depressed, those who have lost their hope, their faith, and their direction. We pray for those who are angry, frustrated, tired, and alone. Father, we pray for those who are providing care for the victims of Alzheimer's and dementia. Give them strength to make it, God. You said it's not by power and not by might, but by your spirit. We ask that you would move by your spirit and settle their souls. Prepare them inwardly for what you're about to do outwardly. Prepare them to be enlarged and stretched for what is to come. Father, help us to live fully in the now so that we are not imprisoned by the failures and disappointments of the past, nor stymied by the thoughts of the future. Your word declares that a now faith is a substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things not seen. We yield and give you permission to do whatever you want to do with us, through us, in us, and for us. Have your way, great Jehovah, have your way walk into our circumstances and situations throw your weight around show yourself strong on the behalf of your people your desire is to give us the keys to the kingdom so we say thank you for authority in new realms dimensions and dispensations help us to walk by faith and not by sight lead us and guide us so that we won't go astray or be pulled to the left or right by what we perceive with our natural senses order our steps if you don't mind we take authority over the enemy and decree and declare that no weapon formed against us will prosper. Father, please break and convert every generational curse into generational favor. Break the power of every evil incantation, word curse, hex, and root work designed to hinder the progress of your people. We thank you for our guardian angels who kept watch over us last night as we slept and slumbered. They protected us from hurt, harm, and danger, both seen and unseen. Allow them to continue to guide us in our day, to protect us, to advise us, and to be our friend. We don the whole full armor of faith 
and ask for their protection from every attempt and every attack of Satan and his imps. Cancel every appointment of the enemy. Reveal his plans. Divulge every trick, ruse, and wile of the adversary and nullify every instance of subtle craftiness. Father, open our hearts and our eyes that we can see things through your eyes. Fill us with life, hope, your love, your light and laughter so that we can be a source of light and joy and encouragement to every person we shall encounter. Let your guardian angels place shields around us and ours. Let every volley of the enemy be returned to the sender tenfold. Somebody has thought about giving up and calling it quits. Somebody is sick, bereaved, afflicted, and or addicted. Somebody's incarcerated. Somebody's institutionalized. Somebody's on their last leg. Somebody's caught up in a decision. They don't know which way to go. Somebody is struggling with their faith today. Someone is suffering with low self-esteem issues. Somebody has considered suicide. I don't have to tell you, Daddy, because you already know that somewhere someone is struggling and being tortured and oppressed under a corrupt political system. Somebody is without proper clothing, food, shelter, shoes on their feet, clean drinking water, and proper medical attention. Somebody is walking away from a doctor who is shaking his head. Somebody is facing a difficult surgery. Somebody is languishing in a hospital or a hospice. Father, please assign your kind of glory to attend to them. Father, let them know you care. Allow them to feel your presence on the main altar of their hearts. Let your word go forth with power and purpose. Let it accomplish where and to it is sent and let it not return unto you null and void. Don't forget the victims of weather-related catastrophe. Replace what was lost and help them to rebuild bigger and better. Father, bless those who are sick. In the strong name of Jesus, we decree and declare that every aspect of the 11 system of the human body will return to optimal working order. Glands! secrete as you should biological bioelectrical and biochemical processes get in order pain you must cease inflammation you must subside in the mighty name that is above every other name cysts warts moles and tumors your blood supply is dried up wither away we come against cancer diabetes covid 19 irregular blood pressure fibroids migraines sickle cell anemia and everything else that is not like god in the atmosphere of faith your time has run out and be gone in every aspect mentally spiritually emotionally and physically we are declared every wit whole and by his stripes hallelujah we are healed father arrest the spirits of calamity chaos confusion mayhem murder wrath and rage and revenge send them back to outer darkness father bless our finances we appropriate the wealth of the unjust that is laid up for the righteous the enemy has placed a target on the minds and bodies of our young people. Please put hedges of protection around them as they express the folly of their youth. Please keep them until they can realize the error of their ways and seek you, God. Turn the hearts of the children back to their fathers and the hearts of the fathers back to their children. Reclaim the backsliders. Heal, save, set free, and deliver those who don't know you yet in the pardon of their sin. Don't forget, Father, bless every prayer in his session. Every person taking a seat in this virtual tabernacle of prayer, bless those whose hearts are turned this way. Father, if we have prayed amiss or been remiss, please work it out for our highest good and your glory anyway. And it's in the matchless name of Yeshua HaMashiach that we humbly submit this prayer. And those saints who are in agreement can signify so by saying amen, amen, and amen. Shalom, everyone. Be encouraged and blessed.